In this video I'm going to show you how to use a night photos retouch action set. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the actions. So I'm going to improve this photo from this to this. And then I'm going to demonstrate the actions on one more example that is this one here. So I'm going to improve this photo from this to this. Okay, let me just close these two windows. So before you use the actions, uh, there are just a few things that you should check to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So after you open your photo, the first thing that you should check is the image mode. So go to image mode and make sure your photo is in the RGB color mode, 8-bit kennel. And also check the image size here. So you should use a higher resolution images. And for best results, you should use photos that are at least about a 20 hundred pixels wide or high. Okay. So, and to load the actions, go to Window, Actions, click on this menu icon here, choose Load Actions, and just choose the action that can be download, click Load, and the action folder will appear over here. So when you open the folder, you'll see all the actions here, there are more than 50 actions included, right? So you got the Reveal Details action, you got the Add Contrast, Add Saturation, the add, uh, adjust exposure action uh, and you can boost the highlights, midtones or the shadows. You can drop the highlights, midtones or, uh, or the shadows. And you get the action to reduce the noise, move the details, remove dust and two sharpening actions. Sharpening uh, for small details and for the large one. And you get the action all core looks and this action is going to uh, render all these core looks from 1 to 40, right? Because sometimes it's easier to just have all core looks uh, made and then just experiment, see which one goes best to your photo, but you can also use any of those uh, separately. You don't have to uh, render them all, okay? So the first action that I'm going to use for this photo is, and generally the, the first action I always use when I retouch uh, the photos with this set, is the real details. So just, all you have to do is to select the action, just click play. Okay, and uh, the action will leave you these uh, fully customizable layer. Okay, if it turns off and on, you can see the difference. And when you double click here, you can change the values. These are the values that goes the uh, best with the most of the tested photos, but sometimes you need to adjust those values. So that's why you got the action that leaves you this editable layer. So I'm going to just lower the amount for this photo to about a 10. Okay. And now I want to add a, a little bit of the contrast of the photos. So I'm just gonna select the add contrast section, click play. Okay, and how you change the contrast, how you adjust it is you just uh, change the opacity of this layer and you can change the opacity by clicking on this little arrow here and then moving this slider. Okay, or you can just click on the vertical opacity and drag it aside like this. Okay, I'm going to leave it uh, at 100%. And here we got the add saturation action, so I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. So I'm going to select this action, click play. And how you adjust the saturation is you just double click here and uh, you can now adjust the saturation by moving this uh, slider right here. I'm going to set uh, uh, this value. And now what I uh, want to do is to adjust the exposure. So I'm going to select the adjust exposure action and click play. And how you uh, customize this layer is you just double click here and now you can change the exposure offset or the gamma correction. So I'm going to just drop this a little bit and uh, I'm going to leave this by default. Okay, and uh, now what I want to do is to correct this kind of a glitches that I got the, uh, in the photo after I'm making all these adjustments, but the photo already actually had some of those uh, glitches or uh, they are made after revealing the details on those uh, darker areas. So anyway, uh, how to remove those is to uh, select the smooth details action, okay, and just click play. Okay, and you can create this layer mask, so if you turn it off and on, uh, it actually make no changes because this layer is not visible. And what you need to do, uh, it says, as it says here, let's expand the layers panel. Here it says brush white into the mask. So you select this layer mask, you pick a brush tool, 
set program color to white, choose some soft brush and choose brush for the areas where you wish to remove uh, to smooth the details, right? So after you brush like this, as you can see you remove those uh, kind of a glitches. So I'm going to brush all over here. And of course over this area here. Okay, and if you hold the Alt or Option and click on this layer mask, you will see uh, uh, how this layer mask looks. So wherever you got a white color, this effect is visible, this layer, and wherever you got a black color, this layer is not visible. Okay, and you can see the difference. And you can change the values of these layers, so you double click here, and you can adjust the radius and the threshold, alright? Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the reduce noise action to reduce a little bit of the uh, noise in the photo and uh, when double click here you can also make the settings I usually use these default ones they're just reducing the noise slightly okay and now what I'm uh, going to do is I'm going to run the I'm not going to use this action because there is no and it does in the photo. So I'm just going to select the sharpness mode details action and click play. Okay, so what this action does, as I said already, it uh, sharpens the small details in the photo. And how you change the sharpening is you just change the opacity. Okay, and I'm going to play the sharpen large details. I'm going to use some lower value for this one just gonna uh, make a slight sharpening of the large details and uh, now you can select any of those color looks and just click play see how it looks if you don't like it simply uh, try with another and or you can just uh, play these actions here, so I'm going to play this one to show you how it works, so you play this action and it's going to render all the color looks from the 1 to 40, okay? And now you can just turn on one, if you don't like it, try with another. What you can also do is you can combine a few color looks, so for example, you turn on this one and turn on this one, and then you can change the opacities of these two layers for different color looks. You can also combine more than one, more than two color looks, okay? I'm going to use this one here. Okay, so let's just quickly check uh, the before and after. So this is the before photo and this is the after. Okay, so I'm going to close this window. So now I'm going to demonstrate action on this example over here. So I'm also going to first play this real details action. Okay, now I'm going to double click here adjust the values, I'm going to decrease it a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the contrast. About this. And uh, I'm going to add a saturation. Okay. And then I'm going to adjust the exposure. So I'm going to double click here. And I'm just going to increase the exposure and uh, maybe drop down uh, gamma correction value. This slider is actually affecting the shadows, this one is affecting the highlights, and this one is affecting the mid-tones. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now I'm going to uh, boost the highlights a little bit more, so I'm going to use this action here, the boost highlights, okay? If you, for example, wish to boost the highlights even more, you can just play the act this action as many times as you wish, right? And you can drop the opacity to this layer if you wish to uh, 
make this uh, layer less intensive, right? If you wish to put the highlights, but not uh, this much. Or you can also double click here and you can move this slider over here to control the highlights. Or you can simply just lower the opacity if you were to lower the boost of the highlights. Or if you wish to increase it, you can just duplicate this layer or actually just play this action again like this. Okay? So I'm going to run the reduce noise action. Just to reduce the noise slightly. And now what I'm going to do is to run the smooth details action, right? To make these details smooth, as you can see. There uh, it's usually this is how it looks the areas that were dark and then you reveal details in those areas, okay? So I'm gonna run this action. Need a little bit of time to process it because it creates a smart object and it makes you the editable layer. Okay. So what I want to do is to apply this layer uh, to smooth details on the whole photo, right? So what you can do, you can brush white this layer mask or you can simply just press control or command I uh, when you select this layer mask to, in to invert the layer mask and you're going to make this layer visible all over the photo. Okay, and then I'm going to double click here and I'm going to use a slightly lower value. And for example, if you now wish to smooth the details some areas even more, what you can do is you can run this action again. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create another smooth details layer. And I'm going to use a default settings, this one. And what I'm going to do now is just going to select uh, this layer mask and uh, pick a brush tool, set from your color to white, uh, choose a soft brush. And now just brush over uh, somewhere else where I wish to smooth the details even more. Just like this. Okay. You can change the size of the brush by using the square brackets on your keyboard. So in this way you can apply different settings of the smooth details to different areas, right? So this layer here has uh, the the whole layer mask is white so the fact is visible all over the photo and I use the smaller value there so to apply it to the whole photo and now I wish to add a more to smooth the details more in specific areas so I run this action again and define which areas will be affected by this layer using the layer mask okay you can see the difference I'm going to it over here And if you if you brush over some areas that you where you don't want to apply the fact, you just brush with the black color, and you're going to remove that layer from those areas. Okay. So what I want to do is to remove these dust particles. Okay, like this one, this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the remove dust action. Okay, and this action also creates this uh, layer mask that's filled with a black color, so this layer is not visible anywhere. And what you have to do is to brush white into the mask, the same way as with this layer. So select this layer mask, pick a brush tool, choose a soft brush, and set foreground color to white, and just brush over the areas where you wish to make this uh, layer visible. So as you can see, uh, some particles like this one is not are not removed uh, at 100%. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just double click here and just going to increase the radius something like this and now as you can see it, remo it removes the dust particles uh, totally so I'm going to check if there are uh, some more dust particles so I've turned this layer off and on. You can see a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to run the sharpen small details action. 
and I'm going to increase to 100% and I'm going to add a sharp and large details action I'm going to set this one to about this okay and you can also remove the sharpening from uh, some areas if you are uh, if you wish by uh, brushing with a black into some of these layer masks for example okay uh, excuse me so you set program color to black and you can brush with the areas where you, where you don't want to apply uh, the sharpening so what I'm going to do now is just uh, use some of the color looks I'm going to use this one here so I'm just gonna, gonna select the action click play and that's it so let's just quickly check before and after so this is the before and this is the after okay so I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching